Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with C programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, we learn about random number. So first we know what is a random number. A random number is any number from 0 to 32,767. To generate random number, we use rand function. Rand function returns a number in the range 0 to 32,767. For example, we can say 0, 5, 11, 123, 1500, 5000 are all random number. Let's move to the coding. Here first we include a header file stdi.h. Since here we use the rand function, for this purpose we use here two more header files. And they are has include stdlib.h and another one is has include time.h inside the main function our first task is to declare a variable that will hold the random number since rand function returns an integer value so declare here an integer type variable int r next we need to initialize random to ensure that every time we run the program we get a different value this has been achieved by making the call srand and inside this function write time and write here null here time is a function that returns the time we have further passed this time to the srand function to generate random number we can write here r equal to rand and then we print the random number so I am going to write here printf random number equal to percent %d and here we write r let's check the output compile it and run it random number equal to 31,390 now run it again now it pin 31,419 every time we run the program we get a new value let's run it again it print another new value 31,458 next we generate either 0 or 1 as a random number to generate 0 or 1, we need to find modulus 2 of the result. So we divide it by 2 and find the remainder. Means we perform the mod operation. So I am going to write here mod 2. We write this statement because a number is either odd or even. If we divide an odd number by 2, we find the remainder 1. And if we divide an even number by 2, we get remainder 0. And I am going to write here random number either 0 or 1. Now check the output, compile it and run it. This time it print 1. Now run it again. Now it print 0. Next we generate random number from 0 to n. To generate random number from 0 to n, we have to find modulus n plus 1. For example, if we want to find the number from 0 to 20, then we need to find the modulus 21 of the result. And we can write it as r equal to ran mod 21, since here n equal to 20. Let's move to the coding. Here I am gonna write 21, and here random number from 0 to 20. Let's check the output, compile it and run it. As you can see here it print random number from 0 to 26. Let's run it again. Compile it and run it. Now it print 2. Let's run again. Now it print random number from 0 to 20 is 12. That's it. Next we generate random number from x to y. To generate random number from x to y we need to find modulus y minus x plus 1 and add x to the result where y greater than x. For example we generate random number from 20 to 30 and we can write it as r equal to rand mod 
30 minus 20 plus 1 and then plus 20. Here x equal to 20 and y equal to 30. Let's move to the coding. Here first we take the upper limit from user. So I'm going to write here printf. Please enter upper limit. And a new line. Next we read the number using scanf function. Scanf percent d and ampersand y. Next we take the lower limit from the user. So I am going to write here printf. Please enter a lower limit. And a new line. Next we read this number using scanf function. Scanf percent d and ampersand x. We need to declare x and y as an integer type variable. So I am going to write here x and y. Next I am going to write here rand mod y minus x plus 1 and then plus x. And I am going to write here random number from percent d to percent d. And here we refer x, y, and r. Let's check the output, compile it, and run it. Enter upper limit, I am going to enter 30. Enter lower limit, I am going to enter 20. Random number from 20 to 30 is 25. Run it again. Upper limit 30, lower limit 20. And now this time it print 22. That's it. Hope you understand. See you in next tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe this channel.